the Apollo 11 moon landing almost failed, not because of one problem, but several critical failures that few people know about. On July 20th, 1969, as the Lunar Module Eagle separated from the Command Module, engineers immediately noticed something wrong. The rendezvous radar was accidentally left active, overloading the guidance computer. This triggered the famous 1202 and 1201 program alarms, codes no astronaut had ever practiced for. The guidance officer on the ground, Steve Bales, made a split-second call to continue the landing, trusting that the core navigation would still function. But that was only the first problem. As the Eagle descended, Neil Armstrong saw that their pre-programmed landing site, called West Crater, was littered with massive boulders. If they followed the computer's instructions, they would crash. Armstrong took manual control, burning fuel to steer over the hazardous area. Each adjustment used up precious seconds and propellant. Meanwhile, the lunar dust kicked up by the descent engines made visibility worse, hiding the surface. By the time Armstrong found a clear patch of ground and set down the Eagle, they had less than 20 seconds of fuel left, specifically about 400 pounds. Had they delayed another few seconds, the fuel reserve would have dropped below the abort line, forcing an automatic mission abort, or worse, a crash on the moon. In the end, the first human landing wasn't flawless. It was barely achieved through technical improvisation, instant decision-making, and a lot of nerve. 